Hello students, in this video we'll see an example of finding a Taylor series using division. Let's find the Taylor series for f of x, which is the tangent of x, centered at a equals zero. And so for this problem we should recall that f of x, the tangent of x, is the ratio of sine and cosine. Sine x over cosine x. And I can tailor expand each of these. So sine is x minus x cubed over 3 factorial plus x to the fifth over 5 factorial minus x to the seven over 7 factorial and so on and so on. And cosine is 1 minus x squared over 2 factorial plus x to the 4th over 4 factorial minus x to the 6th over 6 factorial, and so on and so on and so on. And so what we'll do is we basically have two polynomials, infinite polynomials. We'll actually divide them and keep track of the coefficients. So to do the division, let's write this out. So this is my denominator and this is my numerator. So this 1 minus x squared over 2 plus x to the fourth. Then we have a four factorial. So four factorial is gonna be 24. And then we have a minus x to the sixth over six factorial, dot, 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 divided by. And then we have an x minus x over three factorial, x cubed over six. And then we have a x to the fifth over 120, that's five factorial. And then minus x to the seven over seven factorial, and so on and so on and so on. And so we ask the question, what do I need to put into, what need do, I, do I need to multiply x one by to get x? So I need to multiply one by x to get this x over here. So I put an x over here. Now x times one is going to be an x. Then I'm going to have a minus x squared over 2, and then over here I'm going to have a plus x to the fifth over 24, and then we'll have a minus x to the 7 over 6 factorial, and then we subtract these things over here, the x will cancel out, then we'll have a positive 1 half minus a sixth. So positive one half is three sixths minus one sixth, that's gonna be two sixths, and two sixths is one third, so it's gonna be a one third x cubed. And then over here what we have is we have a negative one over four factorial, so right over here, so we have a positive one over five factorial minus a one over four factorial, which we're gonna write as one over five factorial, and, that, and we can see the general pattern by doing this trick is that we have a one over five factorial, then a minus five over five factorial. So what this is, is gonna be minus four over five factorial, which is minus four over five times four times three times two times one, so the four will cancel, and I'll have a 15 over here times two, that's gonna be a 30, so this is gonna be a minus one over 30. So then I'm gonna have a minus one over 30, x to the fifth, and now we do the next step. So what do I need to multiply one by to get this one third x cubed? I need to multiply that by a one third x cubed. And now that's gonna be a positive sign. And if we do this, we'll get a one third x cubed. Then I will have a one over six x to the fifth power, et cetera, et cetera. And the whole point is now when we cancel, when we do the subtraction of this, we get a zero over here. Then we have a one sixth minus one over 30. And so we can write this of course as five over 30 minus one over 30, which is four over 30. And that will be a two over 15. So I'm going to have a positive two over 15 over here. 
x to the fifth power. And therefore, we can see what the next term in the expansion will be. It would be a negative 2. It would be a positive 2 over 15 to get this next term to work out. So what we can do is we can see that all the terms in the, Taylor in the, in the series expansion over here can be found by looking at the ratio of these two things. So by doing the subsequent division, we can find each of the subsequent terms, and we can just carry on this procedure indefinitely. Thank you very much.